Hello, I'm Hannah, and thank you for joining me today. If you notice that my background's messy, mind your own business. My background's always messy, and if I waited till it wasn't messy to turn my camera on, I would never turn my camera on. So I'm just gonna try to roll with it, literally. So my objective today is I wanted to make like a grungy, shimmery eye look inspired by my nails. Um, I painted them a couple days ago. They actually have like so many layers of nail polish on them right now because I meant to do this days ago and I just keep reapplying to make them look good. Um, I'll tell you what I have on. On my pinky, this like multi-dimensional sh uh, silver. Does anyone else remember when ColourPop did nail polish for like a minute and then they stopped? I bought um, one, t one Wish, Two Wish and like I don't know why it didn't catch on but like I thought their nail polish was really cool. Like they were really holographic. And I really enjoy this one. My next finger, I have um, Nebula from Lights Lacquer. I did originally put this over a polish from Olive Ave. Actually, let me, let me grab that. Rhododendron? Ro Rhododendron? It's a flower. <laughs> I don't know how to say it correctly, but it's from Olive Ave. I did that as my base layer, and then I put Nebula from Lights Lacquer on top of it. That is that one. On my middle finger, I have from Color Club Over the Moon. And Color Club has like really cool holographic nail polish. If you guys are into that, I recommend you check it out. Like it's not just like a normal, like metallic, shiny nail polish. It's like really picks up like the, uh, you know, like rainbow tones and its reflection. It's really cool. I had kind of decided a while ago that people being like, wow, this one doesn't chip on me for a whole week was just kind of like bullshit or like they just didn't use their hands at all. But I found with Color Club, it actually does not chip on me. My pointer finger has Medusa from K.O. Polish. I guess uh, you can call this a vintage polish at this point because K.O. Polish no longer exists. My thumb, I just have this copper. This is a super old one from Revlon that I'm trying to use up because they are not cruelty-free or vegan. Um, but I know Lights Lacquer, I think they do have a shade like this that I've avoided purchasing because I have this one for now. But yeah, those are my nails. And then I picked out a couple shadows that I thought kind of represented them. I don't really know what I want to do. I don't know if it's going to look good or not, but I figured I'd try. So I popped these shadows in this... Um, Tarte palette. I do have a matte that I just stuck in there because I thought I might want some kind of tr transition, but I will uh, show you the shadows I picked out. So for the silver, I grabbed two. Um, that's the only one I grabbed two because I felt like I didn't have something that I was happy with being similar enough. This one's from the ColourPop, is it um, the Blowing Smoke or the Smoke Show? Was it that it used to be Smoke Show and they changed it to Blowing Smoke? Either, maybe the opposite. And then also I have JD Glow Good God, which is incredible. It's one of their galaxy shadows. So this is the color pop one. Really awesome metallic. And then the Good God, I'm going to try to layer it a little bit. That's Good God right there. So it's kind of like the more multi-dimensional silver. I could even stick my pinky in with it. What a shot. For the purple shade, I grabbed Insane from JD Glow also. And that's that right there. Wow. It's a pretty good comparison. For my blue shade, I grabbed Crown Jewel from Cleona. I think it has like a little speck of a different shadow in the middle of it, so ignore that little speck. But this is one of their vibrant multi-chromes from their stained glass collection. Cleona shadows are just out of this world. Wow, that's really cool in the back and the front. Wow. That shade's so incredible. For my green shade, I grabbed another favorite. This is from Davina Cosmetics, and this is Celesta. Some of these Davina shadows really rival Cleona, and this is one of them. Wow. And then last up, I kind of have the least extensive collection of neutral shadows, just because it's not really my thing. Um, I do have a Davina 
uh, kind of coppery bronzy color that I had ordered on Black Friday but it hasn't shipped yet but that will be interesting when I get it. Um, for now I'm using this one this is from the ColourPop I Think I Love You palette from a while ago. I recently depotted it and these shadows are really really nice. And that's the thumb. Okay, I really don't know what I'm going to do with these. My Anastasia eye primer. Okay, I'm just going to do a really light dusting of this um, transition shade. This is everything from Luxie. I'm going to keep that really high in my crease to give myself a lot of lid room for the other shadows. So I've been trying to kind of like think outside of the box again for eyeshadow application. I feel like I kind of got to a spot where I felt like I knew what I was doing. I felt like I knew what looked good and I really got stuck in like a certain formula and I want to try to mess around with that. I want to try other things. You know, I want to try instead of doing, um, you know, this and then this and then this in a certain order, I want to just like build and play and see what happens. I'm going to take Crown Jewel, the Cleona, Cleona shade. And then I'm going to take Celesta, the Divina shade. How incredible are those? I tried to leave kind of like the inner third bare and there I'm going to pop in with that first ColourPop Silver. And then I want to top that with Good God. I'm going to take the bronze in my outer V, or maybe not even the V, just the outer edge. And then I try to always like angle it up a little bit just to play with the shape of my eye. All right, it's something. It's not looking as wild and creative as I thought right now. I want to try to pop a little insane in my crease. Maybe the inner crease. Yeah, that's kind of cool. I like how it's not as noticeable with my eyes open, and then it's like a little surprise when I close my eyes. I'm tempted to bring in the Celesta and Crown Jewel again perhaps above the bronze, but then I feel like I don't know if I want to cross them again or stick with the same eyes. Let's cross them, whatever. Maybe I try to blend that a little bit. Make it rich and muddy. I think I'm into that. This should blend even better because the Celesta kind of has like this uh, copper shift. All right, I'm digging this. I think I'm going to take a little good god on a fluffy brush and maybe even try to transition the shimmers on the top. I don't want to make it look too frosty though, so I took a fluffy brush to disperse the pigments more. I feel like it's abstract enough that it doesn't even like instantly come across that like the main lid shades are different. I'm also just going to tap on a little bit more of the lid shades in case any got lost. 
right in the center because I don't want to mess up any blends. All right, this is ridiculous and I like it. I'm a little mad at myself. I got the Lunar Beauty Moon Prism Blush Palette in the mail today. This is something that I had ordered on New Year's Eve and it's so incredibly beautiful. I love like all the tones of everything and I forgot to use it today. So I gotta wait till tomorrow, but wow, it's so pretty, I'm sad. So I put on the rest of my face. I think my brows are a little thick, but it's all right. On my lips, I have Milani Spice Lip Liner and Kaja Baby Girl Lipstick, one of the cute little heart two ones. On my cheeks, I have Elf Lychee Blush. I think that's how you say it. My highlight is the Barbie Ferreira and Becca palette. So to finish my eye look, I wanna do a couple things. I think for my inner corners, I'm just going to do the ColourPop Silver. Just to break it up from the um, one we topped with, good God. That's a little harsh, but it's all right. I'm gonna bring that a little bit onto the lash line. And then I want to marry that in with Insane. Just to give this a little more of a moment. This look is a little insane, um, but I really like shimmers in the lash line. I feel like it's kind of like unexpected and cool. I feel like that's one of those kind of like makeup rules that people have that I always like to bend. I'm gonna plop down a little bit more of that matte shadow, that everything. And I'm gonna top that with the ColourPop Copper Shadow. And that got full out of my foundation. I do try to pat more on my lower lash line for that reason, but patting only works so much. I'm going to fix that and put on eyeliner. For my liners, I popped um, Melt Baked on the inner half of my waterline, and then House Labs Pride on the outer half, but I think it kind of might have barely shown up, but it's the thought that counts. I'm really pleased with how this turned out. I didn't really have a vision, but this kind of exceeded what I thought I might feel about what I was going to come up with. Thank you for being here. I really appreciate it, and I'll see you next time. Top, make it drop. That's some wet ass pussy. Not little fucking in a mop. That's some 